Hi there, my name's Verity and welcome to my channel Pretty Little Button where I'm crafting my way through life. Today I have a card where I've used embossing powders for coloured stamping on dark cardstock. I love to use dark cardstock as I love the vibrancy and, and contrast dark cardstock can give to cards but some inks sink into the cardstock and don't give the vibrancy that I desire. You can use a variety of pigment inks but as I love embossing powders I wanted to use embossing powders to create some coloured stamping on dark cardstock. I've used a selection of embossing powders from WOW as I really love the collection and variety they have and I've combined this with an autumnal looking card and scene for a thank you card. So the stamp set I'm using is from My Favourite Things, it's the Modern Tree stamp set and it's got a selection of different sized trees with different shaped leaves and I'm just going to layer these up on the front of the card. So I've placed my card panel in my stamping platform and I'm just positioning three of the tree trunks onto the front of my card, just trying to line them up so they're reasonably on a straight line or horizon. And I just picked these up with my, the window of my stamping platform. Now to reduce the amount of embossing powder getting into areas that I don't want it, I'm just using anti-static embossing buddy. Just wiping this over my card panel and then I'm ready to ink up my stamp. So I'm using the Wow Embossing Pad Clear Ultra Sewing Embossing Pad and I'm just inking up my stamps, getting a really good amount of ink on them before I close the lid and just press it down. So I'm just giving it a really good even press. So I'm using Earth Tone Pepper Embossing Powder by Wow. This is a new one I've got recently and I thought this would look lovely for the tree trunks, especially giving a bit of contrast against the dark navy cardstock. I've just heated my tool up off screen and just bring it to the paper just to melt and heat set that powder. So as you can see, it changes to a more of a glossy brown. So I'm positioning my card panel back into the stamping positioner so I can now do the leaves. Now I'm going to do each of the leaves on the trees different colours. So the first one, so I just line up the first leaves on the first tree. Just close my platform again to pick up the stamp. And once more I'm just rubbing it with my anti-static embossing buddy and inking up with the Wow Embossing Powder ink again which is nice and slow drying. And the second colour I'm using is metallic copper and I love this colour from WOW. I think it goes beautifully with the dark navy cardstock as well. And for the leaves I think that ready coppery colour goes really well for autumnal leaves. So I've just um, heat set that again with my heat gun and then I'm taking it back to my platform and popping the next one on. And this is a lovely little rounded leafy pattern. I love this little polka dot tree. And this one I'm using metallic gold rich pale regular and again this is a gorgeous gold I love this gold and I'm just popping that on and again it, when it heat sets it looks beautiful with the dark blue navy cardstock and that copper as well and then the last one I'm inking up again it's another round pattern to the leaves and I'm using the primary burgundy red and this is quite a when it's heat set in a minute when you'll see it it turns quite a dark glossy kind of red. And I also love it this colour that it is before it even heat sets. Now I just get a little bit of stray powder so I just, just use a paintbrush just to move that out of the way. So that's heat set and as you can see it's giving it a much more of a glossy dark red. And I love all those colours together, I think they're quite a nice autumnal colour combination. So I wanted to ground my trees so I'm just using a Versamark ink pen and I'm just drawing sort of a very faint horizon line a little bit artistic, not the, the the best artistic person drawing freehand, but it was just to help ground those trees. And because this is a, a clear sticky pen, I can draw this on and then cover it again with the embossing powder. So I'm using the same earth tone pepper embossing powder. And then I'm just heat setting that. So that really matches quite well with the tree trunks and it grounds the trees on the card a bit so they're not just floating in the air. So I'm using a sentiment from the Alt Mute Leaf Canopy stamp set. This is a special note of thanks. And to make sure it's straight, because um, I don't like wonky sentiments, I'm just using one of my misty corners just to position that straight on the card panel, picking the stamp up with my stamping platform window and then just removing the 
misty corner and again just covering that with some of my anti-static embossing buddy because I have been handling it a lot there could be some ink prints there and I don't want an embossing powder where it doesn't belong so I've inked that up again covered with the, the embossing ink and I'm just covering this with the rich gold pale powder just to match that on the tree and it heat sets beautifully so to make my car panel I'm just trimming down my car base and I'm just using so I'm making a side folding card I'm just trimming down my card panel because I want a nice border around the edge of my card and I'm going to give it some dimension so that will give a nice contrast and I'm just trimming it down by about a quarter of an inch around each side now to add a bit more definition between my card panel and my card base I'm just using my embossing pad to add ink around the edge now you've got to be careful this was quite a sharp Point, um, sharp corners and I caught my pad a little bit but just be really careful when you're popping it through just wiping it along the edges and then I cover this with some embossing powder so I'm using the rich gold pale again and this just adds a little bit of definition around the edge and then when it sits on the card panel it just allows it to pop a bit but that, that rich gold pale it just really matches with the uh, gold used in the sentiment and in the tree as well so it all just helps tie it together so this really heat sets quickly because there's not a lot of embossing powder on the edge. If you wanted more, you would just obviously tilt your pad a little bit more to get more of a wipe on the surface of the panel. But I just wanted a very thin line. So as I said, I foam mounted this onto my car panel because I wanted a little bit of dimension. And I'm just trimming a piece of fun foam down. And that's the best way I like to add a good layer of fun foam. So I'm just adding some double-sided tape to one side and and adhering this onto the card panel and then when I come to adhere it onto the actual card base instead of using double sided tape I prefer to use some craft glue because this will allow me to have a little bit of wiggle room when I'm adhering it to my card panel so if I haven't got it quite straight I can just move it about and just get it positioned straight and then really properly press it down so it adheres quite well and as you can see that even though it's a very thin line of gold embossing around the edge of the card, that gold just helps to lift that panel a little bit and more draws your eye in. So I really enjoyed stamping on dark cardstock and to create that coloured stamping, heat embossing gives a lovely shine and vibrancy to your stamping. If you've enjoyed today's video, I'd really love it if you could subscribe. Just hit the um, button below or in this video. Why not hit the notification bell so you know when a video is up. If you like this video, why not check out this other video where I did some masked embossed resist technique to create some lovely shaped focal cards. Till next time, happy crafting!